Rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for tuning in. Special shout out to Heather, Bella, and Erica for another fantastic weekend. Uh, with me, as always, is Dick Francisco, but also we have another special guest with us in studio. Dick, you got a drum roll ready on that sound kit over there? <laughs> no, you didn't tell me I need to spend my time finding a drum roll. Um, I Don't do. worry, I can no, insert it no, in the edits. No, I do, I do. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, maybe it's the right one, given who we have here in studio. No, I'm just kidding. Safe, my original co-host, Compadre, helped me launch this fantastic venture back in 2018. So anybody that's listened to our demo episode, and obviously the, what, 80-some episodes after that, is familiar with his work. So... He's definitely been an integral part of what we do here at the Catch the Sky podcast, and we are glad that he is taking the time this evening to join us once again. So, Safe, thank you for uh, being here. What you been up to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I think it's the only sound I have for him, although I think you would probably prefer this one, right, Safe? Always in for a cheap laugh. <laughs> Always in for a cheap laugh. Okay, okay. What's up? It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to mm. step to. Step mm. to. Step okay. to. Okay. Step to. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's been. I was a gonna long say. Time. <laughs> for a sec, I, I I thought his microphone was turned off and he wasn't even there. <laughs> Let me reintroduce myself. <laughs> So, how you been, buddy? T, you should see the shit grin on my face right now. I'm so happy to be back in the studio. And shout out to Dick Francisco, taking care of the dogs. We got dogs chomping at the bit in the backyard, doing their thing. We've been, we've been staying healthy. Got a new dog. Drinking lots of water. Got a new job. Got limping dogs. <laughs> and T, good job by you, baby. Oh, thanks, man. Been trying to keep this uh, thing afloat. Uh, my the only boat. regret is carrying the boat. Yep. My only regret is I'm not there in person with you guys right now. But soon, though, right? Soon, soon, this summer, baby. Ideally, one of those episodes in July. If you need a place to live, let me know. I got you. Yeah, right. Too soon. <laughs> Too soon. Okay. Okay. All right. There you go. Now that's the time for the other drum. <laughs> drum. Yeah. Right. That was. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. There we go. <laughs> or was that more of a... I don't know. <laughs> For me. <laughs> I don't know. So I actually think that's a great uh, segue into our topic tonight. To you said, like, you know, hopefully you can get here. You've had some priorities that have been taking your time. And obviously, Safe hasn't been with us for some time. I just made a, a, a re-intro after taking time. So... What are we talking about tonight? <laughs> um, this is why we need a second take. <laughs> this is not. Don't you ruin this. You haven't been around. We're not editing any of this out. Nor should, None of this. Nor should you. None no, of this. absolutely not. Yeah, no. For um, Who do you think all of you our are? <laughs> for all of our astute listeners, tonight's topic is time. <laughs> and I have been chomping at the bit to discuss this and we're actually probably going to have several episodes dedicated to time but i wanted to specifically focus tonight on how we spend our time and maybe um our perception of time because it seems to be different from individual to individual yeah at least in my experience and changes over time right oh yeah absolutely definitely i think everybody's view on time changes as we age for sure the uh the the message i've kind of been sharing with people lately is that the clock is ticking the same speed right now as it is on your deathbed okay so it seems like everybody is all 
aware of what they missed out on in their life when time's up. Well, if you apply that same mindset to now, then you won't miss it, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Safe and I were actually just talking about that. So the reason those dogs are limping is not because they have a medical condition. We just went for a nice long hike. That's all. So no, nobody get alarmed. Nobody sick PETA on us. We're good. But we were just talking about splints. that idea of time and how certain things motivate us to suddenly be cognizant of it versus being intentional about it without something forcing it upon us, right? Think back to that death episode that wasn't about death that we did. That might make one more aware of time, right? The passing of somebody. Yeah, so I'm pointing at Safe right now and he's missing his cue completely because he's rusty, which was, <laughs> hey, I'm going to be there to shout out the former episode numbers for you. And I literally just pointed at him and his face <laughs> glazed over. So that's I fantastic. don't remember what episode number that was, but we don't care. Oh, sweet Jesus. Yeah, that was way. That was hey, a long time ago. It was a, you'll figure it, it was out. a sports episode. Yeah, it was a sports episode. <laughs> yeah, Father time is not, undefeated. <laughs> it was not about <laughs> death. It was about sports. Yeah. yeah, we just worked death. And that's why I said the death episode, not about death. Exactly. But, but the passing of a loved one usually makes people more aware of this whether that sticks with them remains to be seen right that again it's it's different on an individual basis so safe i want to throw it at you because you haven't been with us for a while and i know i took my hiatus too but you made some different decisions in how you were gonna spend your time and uh i kind of want to hear about your decision making process to have to decide that you couldn't do this with us anymore. I had to, I had to do me, and I, I think that was, I had to do me, and that's, it's a selfish decision. I've, I've. We I've all got to be selfish. Yeah. I struggle with, with figuring out where my time should go, and for the last year, I've begun a new career, career I've always wanted. At least I think I want it, right? Like it's like, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I don't know what the hell I want. <laughs> I don't know what I should be wanting, but I know that I have been conditioned by the system so much that I just function as an adult. I go out, I pay taxes, and I don't question things, and I trust that like the government's got my best intentions, and I'm not out here trying to overtake capitals or anything. You know, I just I'm living in the system I do. And shout out to people out there just working within their parameters and just trying to figure it out. And, but is it a cage? So we were, and, and you, I, it was like, how do we value 15 minutes of time? I think was one of the questions we got into earlier today. And I, and I love that because I don't chunk my time that way. And I, and I often wonder if I would be happier if I did dedicate specific time for specific things that mattered versus just giving my time willy nilly with no structure to the whims of, I mean, I could have had a conversation with a bicyclist today on the mountain for no reason other than I interrupted his day with a question about if he found a cookie or if he lost a cookie. It was dumb. I got so <laughs> mad. Do not waste someone else's time. With a stupid question. With a stupid question. But I want, I want to. You what if he was looking for that cookie though? <laughs> Then he should have looked at you and been like, that that sucker stole my cookie. Like, you had it written all over your face that you found a cookie and you were so excited about this and cookie. I, and I think I'm doing him a favor and I'm, I'm wasting everybody's time. Including with this conversation now. So, <laughs> T, why don't you lead us in this discussion about that 15 minutes? Because it was your question and I felt like the way you posed it to me was phenomenal. Hit me with it. Well, billionaires and people that are uber successful, right? They chunk their time this way and they plan their entire day from the time they get up to the time they go to sleep. Even if there's downtime planned yeah, in Yeah, time that, is right? money, bro. Exactly. So these people are so productive that they don't have time to make their own breakfast, do their own clothes, things like that. They literally make so much and are so productive that they can pay other people to do that. So do we want our time to be constantly dedicated to these smaller caretaking things or do we want to be 
productive and you know squeeze the most out of every single minute so to speak and i guess the question i have on the flip side of that is is it healthy because you're almost operating like a machine at that point you know you're you're dedicated to this schedule and if you don't stick to it you're not going to get the results that you want well i think we have to define some terms you use like productivity and what actually is productivity i think the idea of these folks being productive versus no if their end goal is to make money and they're associating the use of time to money and a dollar earned then that's what they're doing right that's the value they put on time so i think your question was and and we couldn't debate all day long the healthiness of that for each of us individually of whether that's a healthy approach or not i think the bigger question then is what do what value do we put on time and that 15 minutes so safe just said he isn't right that's super profound to hear because that we need to dig into that together but t do you value 15 minutes and what value do you put on time i try to okay but i'm definitely not as disciplined as others are right there's definitely times in my day where doing what i do especially being self-employed i don't have time to sit around and wait for other people so if things aren't getting done we're just going to move on and for example let me use an example here with the house uh we've had some electrical issues and so we got a new service installed right okay that's going to be two thousand dollars to replace what we got or twenty six hundred bucks to upgrade to a 200 amp service i called four different electricians one was over that day and fixed my current issue and gave me a quote for the new service. Another one I had a back and forth with all week. They aren't able to come out until February 28th. Text and for the phone. archives, <laughs> <laughs> via phone, via phone. Um, and for the archives, it is currently February 19th, 2023. But I had another one call me at 4 30 on friday it's like all right you know what a bunch of you have demonstrated that you don't value my time or money mm -hmm. this person is here they're ready to work they have their price time to fucking get rolling you know what i'm saying so let's i i, I could have i could have signed the papers and we could already be working on the house if i hadn't waited for these other schmucks you know <laughs> yeah let's okay i want to get into that right because i think okay <laughs> so Safe said, right, that he isn't valuing the time because, and, and I think this is what we do. I think each one of us, I know you both incredibly well, and I think we all have made concessions um, and compromises to our time for other people. And so when Safe said he doesn't even know if he values that 15 minutes, it's because his decision-making about time has always been influenced by other people mm. and if you're satisfying other people right mm. and i'm here to challenge us all and say when we're making decisions constantly that way we're wasting our time and theirs right well i have a question okay hit me are these decisions always being made based around other people or are they being made based on financial restrictions right so for example cash rules everything around me right you know that, that we're kind you. of almost using <laughs> right <laughs> time and money interchangeably here right so maybe in safe's case no, he wants I don't to get put that standard out here no we're well no no no, oh, no. Interchangeably. I, I, no 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 but i'm saying just i'm saying in this vacuum the vacuum of this conversation right here that we're having okay. right now just okay. this 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 like for example safe might find value in waiting for say a different contractor to come build his wall because they'll do it for two thousand dollars less right okay so in that case sure he'll wait another week or two and save two thousand dollars sure so in so that case i think it's it's almost as interchangeable i think where i'm trying to drive us to though is this discussion for each one of us is are we being intentional about the decisions we're making about how we spend our time. 
And so I told Safe when I was posed to that question, this comes back to your point, T, of when somebody's on their deathbed or we're forced into situations where we're restrained or constricted, it suddenly makes us evaluate something differently and why that be that seems to be a thing for us as humans to be put in these confines in order to be forced into a reality. So I was saying, hey, for me and how I value time, I'm in this experience right now where, for instance, for me with a loved one, right? So Safe is in a different situation than I am. So he goes home and gets to spend his time with a partner in his household every day. Right. And so to some degree, as humans, we have the ability to suddenly take that time for granted. And so he might not be as intentional about how he spends that time with that person. I don't have that. I don't have that luxury. Right. And so the person that I want to spend time with, it's finite and it's limited. And so suddenly my view of and my appreciation and the intentionality of how I spend that 15 minutes and suddenly how I spend all my increments of 15 minutes is now viewed through this lens of I better value every single minute of it and not waste it and so we're suddenly pressing ourselves into these situations under circumstances that allow us then that clarity to see that and so you know Steve and I were having this really profound conversation about that of why being forced into it suddenly allows that but I ain't gonna hate on the fact that I'm forced into it because dang, I'm making some really intentional decisions now in how I spend my time with myself or anyone else because I know what it's like to have it be limited. So if I can use my most recent experience as yeah. an example. Yeah. Do it, do it. I'm spending my time with Paris and I was very clear, like, look, the upcoming months are going to be challenging because I want you to be around. Yeah. But at the same time, somebody has got to run this handsaw, you know, somebody has got to run this sander. Somebody has got to paint these walls. You know, the fucking cupboards aren't going to mount themselves. So like yet, yet chat GPT. (laughs) (laughs) Shit's real. So, right. Yeah. So I, uh, so I'm I'm caught in this place where I'm like, <laughs> I want to be productive. I want to be right. continuing to do these things so that I can meet the goals that I want, not only for myself, but for my partner yeah. and our relationship and to get us out of this shithole, right? Sure. So Shit shack specifically. Yeah, right. So do I want to spend my time fucking around or... Can you find a way to suck my dick while I hang these cupboards? Ooh. So that's a mic drop tea, right? Because now all of a sudden you're challenging us in how we spend our time with other people of can you do both, right? So I think we're all talking about these compromises that we've made with time for other people. Yeah. And to to be considerate so safe and i were and this is going to get into a whole other topic that we can cover at another time <laughs> but it's all relative. but it is all yeah, yeah. yeah it's all it's related all it's all related in that re- in that respect that like we make concessions or compromises in how we spend time with those people in our lives because we're afraid of being alone or we're afraid of hurting people or we're just afraid we're insecure all these things that we then make concessions to our time and at the end of the day there isn't a quality then to that time spent And that comes back to, I'm not just wasting my time, then I'm wasting someone else's time. And I'm not just wasting someone else's time, now I'm suddenly, it's a domino effect of wasting all kinds of people's time because the fact that I wasted that other person's time, that they could be spending that being more impactful in this world, means everyone else's time gets impacted. Mm. And, And like that's super profound because at the end of the day, when we're settling and we're not spending time in an honest, intentional way, like we're all feeling it. Right. And so like, yeah, don't get me wrong. I want to cuddle with you on the couch, but I also got to mount these cabinets. If you ain't with that person that you guys can mount those cabinets together, like then just understand where that time's got to be and and whose time is being wasted. Right. I want to mount cabinets with somebody. I don't want to like have to choose between mounting that cabinet that knows it needs to be mounted and cuddling on that couch. Awareness. Awareness. And you're hoping you're with somebody who's astute. Otherwise, you got to like lay out instructions. 
Well, that's a choice too. That's or time spent. It's How Ikea. many minutes? Ikea, <laughs> Ikea <it>. instructions, bro. <laughs> Ikea instructions. How much time though are you going to spend trying to lay out instructions? Should we not ask that question? Whose time is being wasted here? And the answer is everyone's. Spoiler alert, yo. I wish I wasn't a teacher. I, I, I hate that I'm in this profession because I, I know that people need maps. I know people love maps. I love maps. Oh, sure. And I'm not saying that we don't lay out instructions and that communication isn't important. I'm saying you need to know when to know that your time and how you're spending it is for the benefit of both y'all so that everyone gets to benefit. And I'm saying this in that relationship context, but this isn't just about intimate partners, guys. Mm -hmm. This is about any relationship. Like this is, you know, friends, family, how we're spending our time, right? We have to acknowledge when we're wasting hours and theirs versus, and like what the intention is. And I always appreciate that you call me out on that. Absolutely. You do. And I feel bad the next day. Dang, that wasn't my intention, but good. But no, I, and I'm <laughs> aware of it, right? And I, I've, feel like hey t if i've ever messed up your time my apologies like i mean oh yeah because it's gonna be, happen yeah. right we're gonna make mistakes i waste time all the time i should just be better i should seek to be better about that right i've wasted a ton of t's time because he cares I appreciate sweet t's time heck though. yeah me too and so then that comes back to it are we ensuring that we are appreciating people's time like, thank you, audience, for listening. We're taking your time right now, right? Yeah, shout out to the audience. But any like, any uh, new international listeners? <laughs> if you care to interact <laughs> with us, you can find us on Twitter, at CTS Terry, or at I'm Dick Francisco, or on Instagram, at The Dick Francisco, or by searching for the Catch the Sky podcast. And I'd say that that becomes the... Well, onerous on us to to make sure that we're not wasting people's time with this show, right? Worldwide, baby. Worldwide. <laughs> hey, Turkey, we're with you. Syria, we're also with you. But America, you know, it's it's it's, it's political. So it's political. We we can't even support Ukraine anymore. It's like, oh, okay. Well, time is we finite. Can, we we got to figure out what our priorities but, are. And so this we is could the spend a whole episode on that because it's like atomic sure. bomb time, right? We're gonna we're gonna start a war and. We're going to end your time. We're going to fill your time with war and death and patriotism and, and military industrial complex and all that stuff. And we're going to consume your time that way. Can I throw a little twist on this? Okay. So time, right? The way that we seem to be talking about time right now is because it's finite and we all feel that. I think we're all at stages in our life right now where we're being pressed. T, you've got this house that the sooner you get this done, the sooner you get to move on into something that you know makes you happier. And so this is a path to your happiness. Oh yeah. You know, say if you're in this stage of like newness of this career and in, in, in this place in your life of evaluating and saying, hey, I'm not sure that I'm being intentional enough about time in your life, right? Yeah. And I'm over something. here going, dang, I'm now seeing time differently with an appreciation for every minute spent and being as intentional as I possibly can. But it's also putting me in this situation where I go, shoot, I don't want to look at time as there is no time or time passes too fast and I've got to rush things through. And so pacing myself and acknowledging that there's plenty of time has equally been a challenge for me. And there are some things in this world, in this life that um, take time and deserve time. And I don't want to view time as though it's passing so fast I have to rush things either. Because, you know, I think there's this statement that I make frequently that uh, to slow, slow down to speed up. Because when we go too fast, we make mistakes. So slow down to speed up. Because how many times have you been so fast at something or tried to rush something so much that you screwed it up and you had to redo it and you had to redo it and you had to redo it. And over time, the amount of time you spent was actually more than if you had slowed down to speed up. And so I think about this like fine wine, aged whiskey, the best bread I've ever made in my life took how long, Safe? 
I mean, I thought it was a mango pie, but <laughs> <laughs> whatever it turned into, mango pie bread. I don't care. There was a amount of time and love, and the more time and love. Remember when we went to that? I'm, um, I'm a mango pie. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. Mango pie coming up. But remember when we went to? Um, there was like this Indian. Is that restaurant. a cream pie? Oh, the cream pie. Um, the mango cream pie. Cream pie girl. Um, when <laughs> I was, I owned that title, y'all, and I wore it well. Mm-hmm. So we went to this. There's Indian- a mock up of a shirt somewhere. <laughs> we do have a mock up of a shirt for that. Uh, when we went to, it was some Indian restaurant. Yeah, yeah. And the reality of like, you walk in and they tell you, like, just be clear, this experience. Oh, or when we were at that um, Bangladeshi guy's house. Either way. Cool Abdul. Cool Abdul. <laughs> that uh, when you do that, they tell you, like, by the way, like, dinner isn't yeah. going to be for four hours. Because we're about to put so much It's like so that episode of The there. Office. Yes. Boom. Bring it back. Are you talking about The Office right now? He just talked about The Office right now. Did you know there's an yeah, office in Hindi? No. And you got to check they, that out. No, they, they, they Indianize Michael Scott and Dwight and everybody, and they, they put it in the context of India's culture. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> they did it. Oh, there's a yes. There's a sick joke. Uh, oh man, there's so many new racial stereotypes that I need to learn about. <laughs> do you have time for all that? And, I, and that's it's like, how much do I dedicate to a complex culture like India? I'm how saying. much? And you can go through, or you could ask ChatGPT. ChatGPT will put a nice summary for you, make your life real simple. Or you go to Wikipedia. And how much time do you dedicate? Shout out to the wiki. I'm all about it. Just don't write a term paper on that, kids. That's where ChatGPT is getting all its information. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> it's listening to us. It's totally listening. Its name is Sydney. So. <laughs> or is that what you named it? <laughs> I think that's like Girl 6, is it? I think that, that is a call out. But I, I, it's it's from the New York Times. Is had this article. This uh, author's name was Kevin. And, and he had a disturbing chat with ChatGPT. So this is, but this is my point, y'all. Great like, hook, great hook, though. Uh, they, they got me, and 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 they consume future my time. episode. Yeah, they consume so, my time. So what a great point. So this is back to okay. There are things that should take time, and we should slow down to make some of these decisions too. So I think the way we started this episode was all about time is finite. How are we spending it? Let's be intentional. Which I agree with all those things. Turn off your notifications. Yeah, all that like. <laughs> Use your time and create the meaningful use of it because we are that impactful as human beings in this world that we better be intentional because of that domino effect. But are we prepared to acknowledge that there are things that take time and we should be patient enough to take that time? Dang. Mm. Mm. So I got a couple of things. Do it. Like to respond to. Yes, please. Firstly, yes, it is important to spend both your professional and personal time with people or not with people to use it productively. Yes. Whatever is going to help you achieve your goals. Right. Be intentional about the people you spend your time with. Or not with. Or not with. Yes. You got to make that choice. I don't have to call you back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the second thing I wanted to respond to would be that, yes, I'm appreciative of both of your times. Is that both of your time? Time, right? Both Just of both of your time. time. <laughs> I, both I of yours time. I appreciate time. those phone <laughs> calls, T. T, I appreciate those phone calls. I do. Yeah, likewise, likewise. And this is also why... We're playing Cleveland I, this year, T. We're playing Cleveland. Come on. <laughs> right. And it's and I and I'm looking forward to seeing you again. That would be awesome. But when I am there, this is also why I put the time into hacking out your fucking bushes. Mm. Teaching you how to put down cement. That first one. Teaching you how to do other things, right? No, but like you should I'm I'm also trying to share the knowledge that I have so that when I'm not there, you are able to handle these things on your own and you don't need to waste your time or money relying on somebody else and you can handle it yourself. Or if you're 
you know, such a baller at that point, you can pay somebody else to do it, right? You know, it depends on what a more effective use of your time is. But if it's something small that you could handle yourself in, say, five minutes, now you're able to do it. I've always been impressed with your your ability to dive in. Dick, too. Dick's, Dick, I know Dick personally, so I've seen her build some Ikea furniture before with no instructions. Oh. And I just sit back and, like, help a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, see, you know me better than anybody. Like, I, I'm impressed that you guys have the the engineering time to build shit and to construct shit. But that's a choice in how we use our time, right? I love using my but, hands. So I know that about myself. I love me some hard labor, right? So because I love that, that the is The more a, jobs I can do with my hands, the better. I'm saying, <laughs> give me all the hands, right? That I wish I had like seven, no, I feel like an even number, eight more hands that I think that's how I value though. I value the response so to my use of time that way, right? You might not. Hard labor might not be your jam, but like but I've something done, else might. No, no, no. Just because you've I spent try. Time, I know I, you do. But remember, if you're trying to qualify yourself for something versus how you see the most value for your time, you have to own that and live by that. And if you don't value the experience you have when you're being physically laborious then that's very different. But if you enjoy that time spent doing something else, then understand that about yourself. Right? No, no, I just think that I'm not mechanically, I couldn't tie my shoes till sixth grade. So some things are going to take a little bit longer. And you guys, you guys are rolling. Like your minds work differently than mine. Um, it, see, so I just want to put a flag on this. Hold on. I just want to put a flag on this for the next trailer. I couldn't tie my shoes until sixth grade. <laughs> Yeah. Just, if you could, someone mark this timestamp down now because I'm I'm oh. gonna need that line later. It's gonna be gold oh at some point. I promise you. But I God, that yeah. Oh, we're of, definitely gonna text that. We are back wrapping and forth around you right now. Safe. How people learn? How people learn though? <laughs> so I guess. This is this, and so I was going to frame it differently, but now I'm going to use the two the shoe tying example Ooh. as a reference here. So, do you think that it was time well spent struggling to learn how to tie your shoes all those years when you could have just gone maybe the slip on or Velcro route? And Velcro was a thing. Mm -hmm. I grew up right. In that so era, do you? I had the luxury yeah. of Velcro. And now I wear shoes that don't tie. So I'm like, I don't even know why I needed to learn that. I can drive a stick, to be fair. Like, it's like. No, that's true. So, <laughs> right? so do you. So, so do we pat ourselves on the back because we. Uh, I like patting myself on the front. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's actually funny, safe, because my back is located on my cack. <laughs> But do, do we? <laughs> Speaking of time, I think we've hit that time where this is where it starts to decline. Yeah, things are. Yeah, things are. Yeah, we're hitting this that. This is where yeah, it that. becomes the best experience for the listener, right? <laughs> right. No, but do we pat ourselves on the back because we built that IKEA end table in eight hours and we feel accomplished because we learned how to build something, or would it have been better spent just having Dick or Terry come over and put it together in one? Right. Dick or Terry's budget. Right, uh, yeah. right, right. Sweet tea and but, dick together, 30 minutes. Oh, 30 easily. minutes. Easily. Do, do you think billionaires put easily. And then, furniture? No. See, but that's they pay cool. somebody else to do it. And that's also the point. That's kind of the point. We, we'll come over and help you because we love you. But you could also just pay your neighbor 20 bucks and he'd come over and put it together. And then you'd have the rest of your Saturday. I got a drink with Mike, though, if I ask him for anything. Well, there you and go. The you, other one you share a couple of racist <laughs> comments, but you'll get it built. <laughs> I have to deal with a little bit of racism, and I have to get. And then you'll have the rest of your day, yeah, and then you'll have the right? rest of your day. That's racism the whole point. And a little bit of intoxication, but you got the rest of your day. That's value. And you got your time. end table, and you got your end table, and you got Bam. an end table. Bam. That's valuing time. <laughs> that see, because then you have the freedom to make more choices and be more productive. Mm. See, do I sit here and fuck with my car for three days trying to put struts in myself and doing all this like, you know, difficult things because I don't have the tools or do I just pay somebody else that has, you know, a shop 
Didn't to I do watch it. you change your brake pads out in my in my driveway? <laughs> yeah, you, you but that's easy. Brake. So here's what I'll say to that though, T. Right, that for some people, it's easy. That no, it's not even a matter of being easy, but the time spent doing that work, doing like mechanical work on a vehicle, might be something that is therapeutic, soothing, and engaging, enticing, motivating. And so then that is a super valuable use of their time. Right. Right. But for somebody that wants to spend their time differently. And so like for me, that's where I just need to be intentional about how I spend that time and ensuring that the way that I'm spending time, and it doesn't mean that every minute will be spent this way, but my goal will always be if I'm spending a minute of my time in a way that isn't satisfying to me or serving my purpose, then the reality of that time spent is how do I get back to a space where I am doing it to the best of my ability, spending that time in a way that is satisfactory to me and serving my purpose. And I think that's where uh, we fail a lot, right? Where we can suddenly get down this path so quickly of giving our time in a way that is in, is not valuable, is not honoring ourselves, is then wasting other people's time. Safe and I just got done talking about this of things that bother us, right? So like when you get bothered by something and the amount of emotional capacity we put into time or rather time spent, wasted because we're upset about something that we could have just used that time so much differently and we didn't, that's where I'm challenging myself. Oh my God, that was a rant that made zero sense, but keep that in. <laughs> <laughs> no, it so I, I apologize everybody for wasting the last minute of your time. <laughs> no, but I'll use another example. So anybody that listened to episode 86 of our podcast, Blinded by the Light, nice. might know that getting to the doctor's office for everybody that day was an excursion. Oh, M G y'all. So that would be a perfect example of people viewing time completely differently. It's one of my favorite I'm episodes. about to get laser shot into my fucking face. Okay. <laughs> We're talking about sharks with freaking laser beams on their heads, oh, shooting them into my eyes. Right. Yeah. So that's what I'm more concerned oh, with. And some me. other people, might have been more concerned with trying out some sandwich shop on the way down, right? That's and okay. Jack Torso <laughs> didn't even care that we didn't know where he was supposed to get laser shot in his eyes. And so I he didn't to mind. I three different locations. Exactly. So apparently he had the time set aside for you to drive all over the valley, which yeah, is He had the clearly, time set aside. Yes, exactly. But you did not. And so we were all clearly on totally different pages that day with how we were valuing our time. Some I people just wanted I to get to Ricky the office. Martin and Enrique Iglesias for my birthday that night, you suckers. <laughs> Y'all didn't even know that, did you? No, and Safe almost missed a sandwich, but he still got it <laughs> because I tried to be considerate of other people's time. So we made it happen. We lived La Vida Loca. I mean, it wasn't really about the sandwich, was it? It's really not about the sandwich. Because if it is about the sandwich, then we got some other problems. <laughs> no, but it's not. It's really back to that time, right? And so I'll say that, you know, we all have different memories of that day. I have some good ones. I have some bad ones. <laughs> I have memories of that day, right? And I am super happy that both you and Jack Torso can see now. Like, I, I oh, love great. for you all that you can see. I appreciate that, and I care about both that of you. That day. Could I, not have gone I, any more perfectly. It was, perfectly. and I will say that agreed. I agree. I agree that that day <laughs> and how it turned out, right? That we can look at that. But there's also some lessons that I take from that because I think that's what this is about is also I'm never going to go and hate on myself, you know, for how I spent time or have to get myself stuck in a rut of regret about it because it's more about that lesson learned. And that lesson learned but you're is definitely going to check which doctor's office to go to. Yeah. So next there's time. a lesson, right? <laughs> But I also, here's what I'll tell you. This is even more profound for me. That's guess apparently my word for this episode. That what's more profound for me is ensuring that those people in my life that occupy the space that I was allowing to be occupied that day mm. value time the same way that I do. Yeah. 
And so I have made that very, very clear that you will not take up that space in my life if you do not have an appreciation for time management for yourself and other people. Because there's nothing more disrespectful to me than someone who doesn't value their time enough to then value mine. And if you don't value your own time, you don't value mine. And so that is huge. And I am not meaning to suddenly get on a soapbox, but give me one more minute because I am honest about that, that this reality of just being that person that's always late or not caring enough about a detail that is, a, that is associated with time and you don't care enough about yours, but you're asking for mine. Oh, I'm out on that. And so I'll tell you that no different than I'm out on it if you don't value time and you can't manage your time and it takes mine. I am so into time management. If you can manage time, I'm all yours. <laughs> like we can talk about things that are sexy in a human being, right? But let me tell you, time management, back to panty dropping, Jean-Paul Gaultier got nothing, nothing on time management. Nothing on time management. You guys should see safe space right now. <laughs> it's and that is where dropper. I was coming from. <laughs> Thank That's, you for that soapbox, y'all. Andrew McClendon, RIP. It's the panty dropper, Andy. Black Andy, we call oh, him. Oh, Black Andy. He's the one who told me that. That It's the Jean-Paul Gaultier. That's the panty oh, dropper. Oh, I learned. <laughs> I learned. And that Not because is I dropped my panties, uh, everybody. It just smelled good. He was the first guy I ever did lots of coke with. Like, him and I just would just do rails of coke. <laughs> he was the guy. So many. Yeah. Shout out to Andrew. He's no longer on this planet Earth, right? And we talked about death. Yeah, right? so for it sure. all ties up. Yeah, his time but, was limited. But like, okay, so we were he's currently self employed. Yeah. I'm employed. And you the management of time management. Mm. The person who came up with time management is all about consuming your time sure. for their purposes. Okay. Right? And so this is we talk about employment and who owns our time and our time is largely consumed by financial interests. Whether we're saving money and you guys will spend it on Ikea instructions, I will spend it on the phone with creditors and uh, <laughs> banks and I will I will make sure that I get charged zero fees on anything. I've Dear been charged. Wells Fargo, <laughs> where do you get off? <laughs> I've read that letter 13 times. Remember the Hilton? Uh, we didn't pay for anything at the Hilton. Oh, dang. <laughs> so, and that's, so it's how we use our time, right? So, and... I chose to use my energy, right? And how we choose to, but it's all controlled by financial bullshit. So that T brought that up earlier, and yeah. it, was, it was. I think it's fair. I think our mind is on our money, and our money is on our mind. Ooh, you're full of it today. Hmm? No, I'm I, just being who I am. I understand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I get that. We've missed you. <laughs> we have missed you. I get that. I think I'm trying to remove that from a. I get it. I understand it. It's true. There's so many decisions that we make. So I think I'm forcing both of you to think about this with me of, dang, then think about those decisions that you make. Think about those priorities you've created. Think about those commitments with people at the end of the day that have been so consuming of time, so consuming then of the monetary reality to that. Like when we start adding the financial component into it, it only digs that hole deeper, right? Versus holding there's you a, accountable. There's a value associated to it. Well, sure, but, and, and I'm not, I'm not negating that value at all. I'm saying, hey, remove that right now in this conversation so that we can understand a constructive process, you know, or path forward. Because I think back to those really bad habits of how we waste time and don't hold ourselves accountable to it. If we really want to talk about time is money, right and we really want to put a dollar figure on it then equate all that time you're wasting equate all that time you're wasting who gets to decide how much my time and then this the consultancy fee in it <laughs> well and this is where i was getting at with the eye surgery example yeah. is i spent three thousand dollars for one day and i know that i was asking a lot of your time Right, so I was asking you to sacrifice your time, and it was a big deal, you know. I and I would obviously be willing to do the same for you, so I, I think that's where, yeah, I know that, yeah, that's what that's what it comes down to, yeah, you know. And, if and you I were before that, T, that's that's the, yeah, 
That's yeah. where that love comes from, and though, that's why, right, guys? Like the insertion of boundaries with people you love, and determining be like, hey, this is my time. I only have fifteen minutes for this, you know. And like, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Get all up in that mic, bro. Get all up in I, that I mic. Was, He's was, a little rusty. He's was, a little rusty. And that's where, and that's where, like that day, and that's where, like that day, I'm like, I know this is going to be a big chunk of your day. But for me, it's also life changing. And see, when it's reciprocal so. like that, we shouldn't feel bad for asking other people for their time. Like, if right. I'm going to spend a little bit of my a little bit of my time and yours too, I shouldn't feel bad if I know how much I've given to you, right? And how much yeah, I'll you, always you help me give see. You. Right, I'm able to see. Right, <laughs> like. Like, and, and that feels amazing. The rain is good. Yeah. Like, that feels amazing to be a part of that, right? But as long as that respect is reciprocal between humans, that's where we won't get concerned about that because you should be able to acknowledge if I'm going, look, I can't give you the time. T, you're amazing about that. I have told you when we have been in our darkest places together at the same time where I go, T, I can't give you my time right now. Right. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, you've heard me say that and you have owned mm -hmm. that with me and we find each other. Right. Because we will always be respectful of the human beings that we are. But dang, we have also given each other some time and it feels amazing to do that. Oh, yeah. But and I think it's funny that you also brought this up on like a previous episode. I don't know if it was the last one or the one before that where you're like, stop giving all your time away to all these people. For sure. I because you need yes, because you need to value it. Because we struggle with that. that who like two we episodes are? Episodes ago. Yeah, who we are? We struggle with that. All three of us do. Yeah. Because we are mm -hmm. willing to give it for lots of reasons. Because we're afraid of being alone. Because we have insecurities. Because we feel like we owe it to people. Because we're givers, right? Because of all of those things. Adam Grant. I know. I was about to drop a little <laughs> more Adam Grant on you. Stand by. Stand by. Tag him in this episode, bro. What up, like, Adam? <laughs> I know, Adam, you want to come on the show? First time listeners, <laughs> long time fan. So no, okay, so I got me some Adam Grant queued up, actually. Thank you, safe for throwing that. It's been a long time, but it's like uh, we've done this forever. So Adam Grant said, how quickly someone answers you is rarely a sign of how much they care about you, right? So like that idea of a delayed reply to an email, a text, a call, right? It's unless it's urgent, that true test of a relationship isn't the speed of the response. It's the quality of the attention. Quality. And we should really be putting more time on that. So instead, we hold each other to these standards of how quickly we do something or the amount of time spent. Mm -hmm. But if that time spent isn't quality, quit it. For everyone's sake, quit it. Quit it. Because that ain't fair to me and that ain't fair to you. We're just wasting time at this juncture. Everybody's just wasting You're time just at that juncture. Anybody that knows me... <laughs> knows that having a text conversation with me is going to involve novels <laughs> and or multiple this is why I'm an Android text back to back <laughs> this is why right? we use so Androids over here <laughs> <laughs> because I, 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 I do I put the attention into responding to people right and this is why i actually just prefer to pick up the phone because if i'm going to say that much i could just say it much quicker than typing it out right yeah <laughs> That's, you're good so about this is why that. i prefer to talk yeah i prefer to just talk on the phone but and i'll just be if clear you're gonna... since i'm not your voicemails mm. are phenomenal <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> add that to the archives <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad it's appreciated. I love and you. And I for appreciate, it. I appreciate both of you taking the time to discuss time with me. Yeah. No. And on a future episode, I do want to discuss time travel Duh. because <laughs> if anybody's ever listened to, I don't even know what episode it was. <laughs> I don't even think we titled it, but there's an episode where we discussed our top five movies, right, Safe? Oh. Isn't there an episode where we did you that? You guys did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sports or It might have been on a, I, I think it might have been on a sports episode. Well, we did both, didn't we? Damn, it's been a long time. Where what, are the what interns? Are you, what movie are you talking about? <laughs> back to the Future. Oh, you Yeah, you guys yeah. hit Back to the Future for show. I love Back to the Future. And so there's obviously going to be some Back to the Future references in this time travel episode. Yo, but We're going to get at it. 
Yeah, I mean, it's obviously been proven theoretically that we can go forward in time. So, Duh. what about backwards? Well, the Morlocks. The Morlocks taught us all about that. <laughs> so, <laughs> to be respectful of our listeners' time, because we have gone a little longer than we normally teaser, do. Just a teaser. Just a teaser. Yeah. Because we've gone well, a little longer. Well, we had lo- safe here. No, no, no. That's what I'm going to say. Because we've gone a little longer, mm. but we hope that we haven't wasted your time and that this has allowed, you know, some spur of thought for our listeners. That's always why we're here, right? Is to share a little bit about us and hopefully it resonates for the people that listen. I like ending these episodes with a challenge because I'm challenging myself. I'm challenging you guys. I love you two, you know, so much. And I don't want to see either of you waste your time and I don't want to waste mine. And so I feel like our challenge here really is to be intentional about how we spend our time, who we spend our time with, and to challenge our listeners to do the same. Because I really feel like in this world, if we were all intentional about how we spend our time, honest with ourselves and you all said it in the very beginning about being selfish no we got to take care of ourselves first in order to take care of the world so I can't take care of you until I take care of me so I better be selfish in how I spend my time so that I'm intentional about how I spend yours and so I'm challenging myself and everybody else you two as well suckers how you spend your time and who you spend your time with Mm. be intentional about it understand why you're doing it intentions matter yeah for sure don't waste my time don't waste their time don't waste your time and when you do obviously forgive yourself and then knock it off right 9 a.m to 9 30 9 a.m to 9 30 i want to i just want to say thank you t obviously for your patience your time dick appreciate your time you know I do. I appreciate my time too. <laughs> and I want to, and from from my end, from my end, I just for the thinkers, the people who help influence my conversation this evening. For sure. I want to start with Matthew McLuhan. He's a media theorist. Aristotle, shout out to you. Oh my God, is this what we're doing? <laughs> shout out? Did you just shout out to Aristotle? I, well, he's influential in this conversation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Harold Harold Innes is another another influencer that. And uh, Jean Baldriard. Oh my god! I thought you were going to say Jean Paul Gaultier. I was like, I know, right? <laughs> well, no, no. On, on that point, on that point, I do want to shout out to Diggable Planets. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, Ugly Duckling. Ooh. <laughs> and these are and get some everybody. The new Office. That's the Hindi version. Like, yeah. I, I everybody go ahead. And then to the dentists, I want to shout out to the dentist. That's fair. Because sometimes I spend my time. I might need a filling soon, so that to might the be wall relevant. Builders, can we get that out of the archives? <laughs> T that episode about dentists that no one ever heard. Maybe might be a yeah a special release coming up sometime Do soon. Do we need Maybe permission? Over Vegas, there's a Vegas episode. Do we need too. permission from Jack Torso to release that? I don't know. I'm sure we can get it signed somewhere. Right, right, right. So, okay, T, you got to do your shout out at the beginning for the ladies. Safe, you just did your shout out. So then I guess I'm going to take me a hot minute to do mine, which is uh, this evaluation of time for me has been not a new conversation. I think about time often because life forces this discussion in my own head with myself. But my experience with time recently and my appreciation slash struggle slash challenge extended challenge accepted i gotta do me a shout out to uh romeo size you all don't know who that is and it don't matter (laughs) but he knows who that is (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well thank you for that (laughs) oh we all called out names tonight you, you all I'm got actually, to call out your names. I got to call out mine. And I'm actually going to end on... Yes. I, I, I'm just going to be rapid Do fire no, here. No, no, I got all it, sorts take of take fucking it, shit. Take it. I got take all it. sorts of shit. So I didn't get to discuss this at length, but many of our listeners, obviously you guys know, I'm a suicide survivor. So sure. I should not be here. So the way that I view time sometimes 
I feel like is very different from other people. I look around and I'm like, is this really what you want to be doing? Yeah. Like at any moment, any of us could go, right? So is this what you want? Is this where you want to be when Jesus comes back? That's, you know, what I'm <laughs> is this what you want to be doing, right? I want to be watching so South there's, Park right now, too. <laughs> right? Oh, there, hey, new season. Shout out to <laughs> Trey, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. So they're obviously geniuses and have been heavily influential in my life. But if we're also doing shout outs to people that are inspirational, safe brought up Aristotle. I thought of Seneca, the philosopher, Seneca, <laughs> right? Because he has w one letter that uh, he discusses the meaning of friendship. I'm sure he has one on time as well yeah. because he discussed almost everything. So you, you can listen to all of his letters on YouTube. But... Um, the one about friends, his definition of a friend is someone who you are comfortable telling what you would only tell yourself. Mm -hmm. And so I share a lot openly on this podcast with you guys and our listeners, mm -hmm. but you obviously hear way more behind the scenes, you know, than they ever will. For sure. And so I think that is one demonstration of my trust for you guys and how I do really care about and love you as friends. Yeah. So thank you for that. And for both you and our listeners, I also wanted to contribute some musical lyrics from the band Newfound Glory, the song Selfless. If you haven't made enemies, then you never stood for anything. You're just dust in the breeze. I'm just dust in the breeze, but I want to be a hurricane. So you Jeez. can decide how you want to spend your time. You can just be dust in the breeze. You can be content with operating inside the parameters of the cage that you've been provided by this society, or you can decide to be a hurricane and live life on your own terms mm. and seize time on your mm, own terms carpe diem don't fence me in or a wrecking ball that is what we do on this show mm. we inspire you to reach higher you can listen to <laughs> us every week wednesdays at 4 p.m you can find us on twitter at cts terry or at i'm dick francisco you can find Dick on Instagram at the Dick Francisco, and you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, wherever podcasts are available, even Pandora still, by searching for the Catch the Sky podcast. Be sure to follow. We appreciate that. And we will catch you next week. Safe, thank you for joining us. Dick, as always, it's mm -hmm. been a pleasure. Boys, 60 Minutes got nothing on us. <laughs> to all of our listeners, thank you again for your time. It's been a beautiful hour. And until next time, keep trying to catch the sky. Love y'all. Bye.